Welcome, I'm Dennis Quaid. Every day, new ideas pave the way for a better tomorrow. In this story, we are highlighting some of the most interesting and innovative developments impacting the world around us. Here's one such example. The Internet of Things has had a significant and positive impact on the quality of service healthcare providers can deliver. But today's interconnectivity of medical devices has also increased the risk of cybersecurity threats. You have to think about all those things that you do to protect yourself at home. Spam, antivirus, and think about that being attached to a medical device. We have to protect all of that on our network as well. It's not only a patient data risk, it's now a patient safety risk as well. If you were a patient and you were getting a CAT scan during a security incident, the machine goes offline, your doctor can't see the results of that test. Now you're gonna have to get a hard copy and you're gonna have to have your care delayed. You're gonna have to wait to see what was wrong with you. If you had a big enough event like WannaCry, you could have multiple devices go offline and hospitals would then potentially have to divert care to other offices and other sites. Securing medical devices is a multifaceted problem. Unlike a traditional IT environment where you can deploy security tools quickly and easily, we're talking about MRIs, patient monitors. Some of these things don't even have keyboards. They can have lifespans of 10 to 20 years. That means they might be using obscure embedded operating systems or even things like Windows XP or Windows 7. So managing these devices is a totally different challenge than managing a traditional IT environment. The best way to manage a medical device security program is to create a partnership between clinical engineering, compliance, and IT. Then you need to go look for what you don't know. Find out what devices are on your network, and then you need to find out what vulnerabilities that you have within your network. Then once you realize where they are, get a ranking system set up, and then you can build a remediation plan to address them. Once you create a remediation plan, you need to make sure that it's one that you can actually act upon. It needs to have standard device configurations, you need to review security best practices, you need to make sure that you're implementing towards the plan that you have. Don't forget lifecycle management. Make sure that you ensure pre-procurement is also in that process. You're cleaning up what you have, but you don't want to bring in new risk while you're doing it. Medical device security is a unique challenge. We bring together the expertise and understanding of these devices and their vulnerabilities, the deep knowledge of the healthcare market and that business operating model, but also a team that is on mission and focused on maintaining the security, privacy, and outcomes for patients. We're glad you could join us today. I'm Dennis Quaid. See you next time.